Yeah, I think just early on, you know, um, at the last place, just like you mentioned, there was some familiarity with kind of what we were doing um, in terms of scheme and some of the coaching. We're, uh, we're already prone to kind of what we did. Um, so that helped at the last place, and here it is. Definitely a fresh start. Um, you know, change and some terminology and, and things of that nature. But a lot of things conceptually are, are the same. It just may be taught a little differently, different philosophy, just kind of a different way of thinking more than anything. And that's what uh, that's what's been neat to see so far. The buy in from the staff, I mean, from day one of just kind of being open minded and really just digesting everything we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, up to this point with our players, I mean, they're they're eager to really learn this quickly and just kind of get in a groove. And that's what's been good so far is, is three days into it. I think it's a good foundation for us uh, from a player standpoint. I mean, not a big wholesale change or anything up front. You know, again, I think probably just kind of dumbing it down. It's it's more about just kind of having an identity, being consistent with what we're doing, and those guys getting a million reps at doing the same thing. You know, up front, at the skill position, at the quarterback position. You know, that that's more than anything, that's probably the biggest difference. No, not, not not really. You know, I haven't put a, a set limit or, or uh, kind of a number on it yet. It's really just what we feel like our guys can handle, number one. Um, you know, and number two, I, it, yeah, everybody loves to play fast, but defenses have, have caught up and, and know how to play against tempo defenses now, too. You know, and certainly against some people, you feel like you could have an advantage with tempo, but to me, it's what's, what's more important is dictating the tempo. Okay, if, if you just play fast all the time, that may play in the hands of some, some people. So to me, you know, dictating the tempo is, is kind of the premium. But yeah, I mean, with kind of the way we line up, the way we formation, things like that, it does give us the ability to play a little bit faster. Say it again, sorry, I missed your first part. That's been the fun part, you know, is, is I get to come in with a complete, complete uh, clean slate for a lot of guys and unbiased, you know, opinions on people. And I kind of get to see it through a different lens. So I think it's probably maybe in a way a little refreshing for some of our current coaches, right, that have known these kids and have seen them every day. And they may hear kind of a different opinion or a different voice on some guys that maybe they didn't think that way in the first place. But that part's been great. That's the fun part is you get to evalu evaluate what you do have and, you know, if y'all y'all seen a little bit of our practice early on, I mean, we're repping a lot of guys here, as you should in spring, to, to really kind of get a great sample size on these guys. I mean, for me, it, it carries more weight of what I actually see now. You know, certainly I watch the film and games of everything from, from the past couple of years, really. And... Um, you know, that gives me a little bit of a grasp of kind of what we have and guys that has some experience and some continuity at some spots. But, you know, it carries a little bit more weight with what I'm seeing right now in front of me. We, we can get to anything, really. I mean, we can condense it down. We can widen them out, um, you know, but from just kind of a normal alignment, it's not a whole lot different than probably what you saw last year. I think quickly, you know, and, and – Again, we're we're all about simplicity and making it easy for that guy. Number one, I mean, that's 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 the whole thing. If it's easy for the quarterback, odds are it's it's uh, it's gonna you're gonna reap the benefits of that eventually. So, 
he's he's grasped it well. I think all those guys have. They've had a great mentality uh, from day one of learning in that quarterback position room. Uh, I think we got smart kids in there, guys that understand football. But yeah, Kay okay, specifically, a lot of things that he's kind of done at, at the high school level and things we did last year. It's just probably doing a little bit more and, and higher repetition of it. Sure. Um, I mean, I'm sure that gives him some comfort, you know, of just in three days into it of having a pretty bit good grasp of going into a practice and just having some confidence with what you're doing at an early age and a in a or an early stage of where we're at offensively. You know, that that's that's a good thing, right? And I think that's probably the biggest thing with with our quarterbacks right now is you know, may not be executing it great right now in three practices in, but in terms of mentally where we're at, they've got confidence with what we're doing. And so that's a, that's a testament to our kids. CV, yeah, he's, um, he's a talented dude. He's a big kid now. Um, fun to watch, eager, mentally he's a sharp kid. I mean, it's all kind of going fast and new as you would expect for a young quarterback, but the guy's not phased, you know what I mean? I mean, he's a uh, he's a very poised individual. And so, you know, skill set wise, there's a lot to love about him, but he's had, uh, you know, like I said, he's, he's been a poised guy early on, which is a good sign for a young quarterback. Yep, I've known Noble for, for a couple years now. I've watched a lot of his film and his games and seen him in person, and so he's, uh, you know, he's one that's getting a ton of reps right now, and physically he's, he's a gifted guy, you know, and so we just got to kind of bring him along, and, and he's already made strides here in just a couple of days. You know, from day one, you can already see some improvements. So same thing, he's, he's an e eager individual, but uh, physically gifted. Yeah, before tempo, the biggest thing is you just get guys in the same spots and they do things over and over again, you know, and a guy can master, if he's on the left side, he can truly master catching the ball over this shoulder. You get a guy on the right side all, all year, all day long, he gets to become where he's a master at catching over this shoulder. So things like that where they just do it over and over and over again and uh, you know, they're not flipping all the time and getting used to a million different things. And so there's some there's some comfort level with just kind of being in the same spot a lot. So yeah, that just kind of goes back to old principles of, of you know, what I learned at an early age. I mean, install wise, really not much. I mean, we're going to put in what we need to put in for the spring and just kind of get a base foundation of, uh, you know, accumulating great tape for us to move forward into summer and into fall camp and all that. So, you know, I really don't care who's out there right now. You know, we've got guys that that uh, need to get reps and there's things we need to get installed and things we need to get good tape of and and then we can build off of that. Uh, I mean. If I had to put a percentage on it, I would say, I'd say probably 80 to 90. I mean, pretty, pretty full amount. And then, then you always see where where it goes. You know what I'm saying? You, you put in your base install, and and then you kind of see what you're good at. That's that's what we're trying to do as coaches. That's ultimately one of our goals on offense. Is we got to be able by the end of spring to identify kind of what our strengths and weaknesses are. And based on that, that's what we'll go into fall camp with. Based on that in fall camp, that's what we're going to roll with in the season, you know, and, and we're going to live and die kind of with that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not 80. Um, you know, it's not 80. So, yeah, I mean, just whatever we feel like we need to carry. But for, for us, you know, for what we do, less is more. And, um, you know, like I said, we'll just kind of see where we're at and what we feel like we need to carry. But if, if we can trim it, we're going to trim it. Is 
it's been it's been fun you know it's it's a challenge because you're just teaching new personalities and you're um you know teaching new stuff and all of that but um all the while you're you're trying to build some chemistry and build some camaraderie in the room and all those things but that's what's fun about what we do you know i mean that's a big reason of why all of us got into coaching is because you love that part, right? You love to be a part of something, be a part of a team. So that's kind of what we have in our unit meetings with position coaches. And so that's that's the fun part. You're teaching a lot of things that may be new to some people. And, you know, I think that's always good. It's kind of a fresh, a freshness about it. And now all of a sudden I'm hearing from these other guys that bring fresh ideas too, things that I haven't really thought of in the last couple of years or whatever. So I just think for – for kind of all parties here, there's there's really good, you know, kind of brainstorming and conversation going on with all this. Yeah, no, Kyle's been great. Yeah, he's he's got some familiarity with it, you know, at his high school days, and he learned learned a lot of this from uh, Hal Mummy when he worked for him um, early on in his career. So yeah, there's. There's kind of a common ground there, right? But Kyle's been great. He's he's definitely someone I can bounce some things off of, and and uh, you know I've already kind of developed that that relationship that way for sure.